Hello there. In this video, I will show you how to integrate a Google Sheet module with the WhatsApp chatbot. On my previous video, I have already explained how to create a WhatsApp chatbot using Libromis No Code Chatbot Builder. If you haven't watched that video already, you can go to YouTube and search for Libromi YouTube channel and find the video. After that, you can easily follow this video. In this chatbot, first I'm going to make some changes and then I will explain how to integrate the Google Sheet module. So if you have watched the video, you know how this chatbot already works that if a user send a message to number, it will initiate with a quick interactive message and then a list message with multiple options and then it is asking the country and the age and further details. I have noticed that I haven't collected the username so I'm making that change to this chatbot. For that I'm using the text module again here before asking the country to ask the username. Your good name please. And then I will use the input module to collect the username and then to save the name. And now in this chatbot I'm only just sending the same details I collected from the user back to the user. So in this chatbot, I'm planning to save all this collected data to a Google Sheet. So here I'm simply drag and drop this module to the canvas and connect the group 7 with the group 8. And to save all the data collected from the user to a Google Sheet, I have already created a Google Sheet with some columns in it, such as name, phone, country, age, move-in plan, nature of investment and budget. These are the same data which we collect from the user. So here to configure the Google Sheet module, just click within the Google Sheet module and then it will pop up with an option to connect an account. This is a one time setup to connect a Google account. So here just simply click on connect new button and then you will see a pop up and then click on the continue with Google button. On the next screen you just need to select the email ID and then click continue and you need to click on select all options to give the permission to the chatbot to save edit and delete data and then simply click continue then it will redirect back to the chatbot again then you can see the option to select an account which is learned with similar gmail.com and then you can see an options to connect the sheet and then it will open a file picker there you can see all the sheets available within that Google account. So here I can see the file I created leads. Now I'm selecting that and then simply selecting it. And then you can select the sheet which is sheet 1. In the sheet you can see it is sheet 1 here. And then you can select an operation which will be in this case inside a row. So if you want to create a record in the Google Sheet it will be inside a row and then click on add value button. And then you can see an option to select the column which will be name, phone, country, age. These are the same columns available within the Google Sheet. And then if you want to save the name collected from the user you just need to select name and here in the value simply collect the name variable which will be name okay which is collected from here. And then the next option will be phone. But unfortunately, we are not collecting the user phone number in this form so that you can simply enable the static variable. If you enable the static variable option, you don't need to collect the user's phone number. So here from the WhatsApp itself, we are getting the user's actual phone number and the display name. So we will be using the same phone number here. So to save the phone number, it will be stat underscore phone. So which will be received from the WhatsApp without collecting from the user. And the next option is country, which we are saving as a country variable. And next, similar to that, it will be age and then age and then nature of investment. It will be nature of investment. And finally, it will be budget and then I'm selecting the budget. So that's done. And then I'm just simply sending another message. Thank you. So in this step, it should write a record to the Google Sheet. So right now you can see it's an empty. And now let's test this chatbot and let's see if a record is adding here. To test this particular chatbot, I have shared my WhatsApp on the screen and sending a hi to the configure number. I'm expecting a quick replay message. Now I'm clicking on buy option and then I'm selecting the budget. And I'm giving my name. And then it is India. And I'm giving my age. I'm selecting investment as an option and it is immediately I'm expecting and finally it is the email ID and now you can see it automatically added row to the Google Sheet with the provided details. So here the first operation is successful that we have added the data to the Google Sheet from the chatbot. Now the next operation is we need to retrieve the data from the Google Sheet and use within the chatbot. So here we are actually using the Google Sheet like a database to write the data and to retrieve the data also to update the data. So here you can imagine you don't need to build a microservice in the backend with an API to do this kind of things. You can simply fulfill those requirements with a simple Google Sheet. So now as a next step I'm going to retrieve the data from the Google Sheet and verify if this customer is already exists in the database. So before the group one here 
I'm detaching the flow from the start module to the group one and adding a new Google Sheet module to find whether the user is already within the database. So here, if the user is already within the records, we can send a different message to the user rather than collecting all this information again. To do that, we need to configure the Google Sheet again. The account is already connected so that I can simply select the sheet. So this is a file picker. I'm selecting the same sheet and then I'm selecting the sheet name. Then the operation is different this time. It will be get the data from the sheet. So here to get a data from the sheet, we need to have a unique value within a row. For example, if you have thousands of record, you need to identify each record with a unique value, which will be in this case, a phone number. So that I'm using the column named phone as a unique value and selecting the stat underscore phone number as a selector. So the data will be fetched based on the user phone number. So here we are not collecting any data from the user. We have the user phone number as a static variable available. And then we need to extract some cells such as the name, for example. So we are saving the name as name again. This module will fetch the name of the user based on the phone number if it is available within this Google Sheet. So here, as a next step is to build a condition, I'm using the condition module. I'm connecting it from the group 10 to the group 11 and click on the configure option and then click add a comparison and then select the variable, which will be name. So I'm selecting the name and select an operator. Here I'm going to check if is set, which I mean I'm checking is the name set with the value. If a user is first time, the name status is set condition will retain false that there is no name set. Otherwise, if the user is already in the Google sheet and successfully retrieved, it will turn true. Okay, I'm using is set condition. So now if the user is already there in the Google sheet and it successfully retrieved, I'm sending a message to the user that you have already submitted the interest and the default block means the name variable is not set so that it will connect with the group one so it will execute the same blocks for the new user and i'm saving it again and let's test this chatbot again so to test this again i'm sharing my whatsapp screen and then sending a hi so now you can see successfully responded with the expected message as I have already submitted the request. So the retrieval process is also success. The Google Sheet module is a very powerful module. Just using the Google Sheet alone, you can build plenty of use cases. In this video, I just demonstrated a very basic use case, but you can build anything with your imagination. So to build a chatbot similar to this, visit Libromi.com and subscribe to this channel for more similar videos.